here I am kind of just continuing to scroll through my stuff here. Ah, uh, this is mostly just me figuring stuff out. Oh, this tail shield is a pretty cool thought. That's like, you have a tail so fluffy that you can just black arrows. Uh, the one thing that I, I kind of prefer doing when it comes to, I'd say, not just character art, but kind of butting about with, say, You know, just using animals and just utilizing animals in, in a way that, you know, they're not just simply this animal sketch. Like, I'd like to at least utilize them in a way that, you know, I could justify them in this fantasy world and not just simply they're animal characters because they're animals, you know. I'd, I'd like to be able to just make it so. All right, I think I'm digging this at the moment, so I'm gonna actually refine you because I really like. I'd like to try this out a bit. Let's see. Hmm. What is this hair? Now, the tough thing about working with sketches is that you don't know what to keep and what's not worth keeping. I'm going to keep you. Clean you up. That should be good. And I'll probably just work with, say... Just basic sketching. And this could probably be just the basic body armor here. Just got a basic fox warrior. I do like the chest fluff myself. It just lets me acknowledge that you have actual hair on your chest. You're not just a weird skin suit person. All right, probably add her sword belt. I kind of like, I'm kind of not as consistent as I'd like to be for my personal lore. Because my idea for just the various, I'd say, animal races for the entire game is that, you know, there are different animals all over the world. But they represent, I'd say, the ideas of the animals as opposed to like a specific animal country like say oh hey this is the Japanese foxes no this would probably be like more of okay this is foxes this incorporates like every potential type of fox like you have foxes that look like they're from uh, Robin Hood you have foxes that look like they're Kitsune you'd have foxes that are you know that represent the tricksters and things like that and then you have foxes that represent you know scavengers and chicken eating and things like that that sort of thing and i'm trying to like incorporate ideas like that into the general i'd say not just specific lore really i'm not like I try not to make it so the lore's completely 
country specific. It's more idea and concept specific. It'd be like more of a Greek sandal here. Okay. And these sketches are super rough. I'll at least multiply this. Color. Now, I won't get too attached. I just want to make sure that I'm able to just get color down. Alright, you'd probably be like a nice... What color should you be? Eh, maybe white. White looks like it'd be a nice, good color. A good off-white would be good here. I'm doing my best to kind of just be fast about this. Knock it out, get these colors down. You're probably thinking, okay, this is, this is not white, it's more of an off-white. And that's on purpose, like I'm trying to make sure that I at least have room for shading and things like that. Shading and doing all that cool pro painter stuff that you see from stuff like this. Boom. I'll just do this until... Let's work on this before I just do the commission thing. And then I'll just get to commission stuff. BG probably All right, this would be a cool idea for like a cool idea for like a snowy environment. Since they're covered in fur, they don't really need to wear a shit ton because, you know, they're living fur coats. They don't matter. Make you really dark, but desaturate you. You're gonna be blue arrows. You're also gonna be blue arrows. A little brighter, so you know. Okay, this is hitting your. That's why I got rid of this. Do -ba -do -do.
piada. Put your distance. Put you at a far distance. Make it seem like you're further away. But you blew. Yeah, it'll be the foreground, and you'll be the far background. I go. Make you slightly more transparent so you can just see. you all right let's actually work on some other stuff there tighten this up this actually even be worth it though? I'm not even sure. I don't even know if this will actually be an enemy or... You know, this is a brainstorming opportunity. I'm not... I should stop doubting myself and just be there. tunic or something would be a good start. I like some blue armor. Probably be the best way to go about it. Probably like an ice warrior type. Even though this game, this is gonna be like for a Game Boy game, really, so it kind of wouldn't matter what color she'd be. I'm not good with coloring, surprisingly enough. Never feel like I've ever been good with color per se. I like make you more of a blue. So it sticks out more. Just realize that you have a weird non uh, colored thing. She doesn't really have protection, actually, but whatever. We're starting monochrome just so I can get myself. Figuring her out. Okay, what can I do to kind of just make her stick out a little more? Alright, we're 
We're gonna make the blade. Back it will make the blade lighter. This is her brightness blade, I'd say. Connected. I hope nothing dropped. That suck if my stream just stopped. I should double check to make sure my stream's actually streaming here. All right, stream's actually going. Good, good. Got like a nice inside the mouth here. Darken that out. Push it red. That's not dark enough. Push it a little darker. There you are. So far, so good. Now let's see. Armor straps, that could be darker. You know, like, put like a neck binder there. Yeah. I think that's more than enough with the shoulders here. I like distinguish the eyes more. Uh, just give him some eyelashes. This is a chick fox. Unless there's an alternate development that I could use. I wonder what kind of application I could use for like something like a transgender character. I don't know. She should probably wear some gloves. That'd be cool. I'm seeing gloves in the corner. Right yet, I'll just make it more like an armband. Yeah, that'll work. Like, make it more of an armband. I love that this mostly just started out as a basic sketch. So it's now evolved into something a little more. I'm not good at cleaning up my art, I'd say. So I'm always self-conscious about showing off normal sketches sometimes. But it's kind of like, okay, I will totally show you my sketches and my thought process thing is, I never finish anything, so that's also a big point of contention for me. It's kind of a bizarre thing to, you know, be, I don't know, sad about. Let's see. Oh, this looks like a nice palette, I'd say. I could actually work off of this to say. Probably like put this at the layer below. Make this a little smaller. I just nudge this darker so the tip's a little more tip's a little more out there. Touch it down. 
All right. Now, one thing that I do really like to do when it comes to character hair, I like to give them a bit of a distinguishing thing. To kind of just push them a little further here. Oh good, I got the flat brush. This is actually perfect. Yeah, we'll just push this here. Like, add a little bit of stuff to the hair highlights. And Shazam, I have basic ears, I'd say. <sighs> Do I make the feet darker? Maybe. Maybe. May like put the back of the hair tip. I just do that rhyming scheme with the tail. That should be good. Again, this is a super sloppy garbage can sketch here. All right. Fun background just a wee bit. Kind of say, hey, this is also a snowy background here. It's also far in the back. You probably wouldn't know. Just do, I'd say, the bare minimum of background stuff here. That should be good. Roughly. This is as rough as I could probably do it. I should probably figure out, okay. Should be some yellow accents places. Just to make this a little more of a interesting design here. <sighs> I see. Probably do something where probably do like some gold tips. And this is really just giving me off some old school Final Fantasy vibes. Yeah, maybe a gold sword actually instead of just a blue sword. Maybe like a gold sword with the sapphire jewel in the pommel. Or what's at the hilt. And yeah, that'd probably be a better move right there. And yeah, just make like a little pearl there. Add some basic lighting put you there well 
add some basic cell shading just so you know you kind of just have that general shade there let's see Not about May the light is just going to the bottom so that there yeah, it's weird kind of like trying to figure out okay the lighting would probably be coming from this way since that'd be how the archery goes Hmm. Try to steal this. Put a shot here. Put a shine here. Should be good. Yeah, like a little rim light. Shine, shine. Shine at the cuirass, shine at the, uh, I guess these weird underwear protector things. Tuh. Well, top tip over here. Just so it acknowledges the little bits there. Alright, let's at least establish some other basic shading and be done with it. So I'm not gonna do anything ginormous, just Put you down here, then may like do a hard light layer, and then that should be good. Yeah, that's a little too much, but that'll be fine because I'll just I just desaturate you just a little bit. find this bluff look just a little bit again i'm only f messing with a round brush yeah maybe that's a little too much there And I'm just belting this out as fast as I can. I'm not even sticking with anything like quality. I'm literally winging it as hard as I can. He'll be covered. Basic mouth. Shading, basic bottom of the head here, one more feather, kind of just saying, hey, she actually has fur for once, she isn't a weird skin creature.
and may like emphasize the uh, the nose some more. Get the eyes in, kind of signal that she's wearing this head armor. Actually, since the lighting's more symmetrical here, should have a bit more. Gah! What? Uh, somebody's messaging me on the telephone. Uh, Mom's asking me to go look at the crock pot. All right. I'll. I'll, uh. I'll do this. Finish this up. Finish this up just to say, hey, I get an idea that there's a work on my big commission thing. And then I'll just do that for the rest of the day. Or night, or whichever. And that'll be my little stream thing for, I'd say, the night. Yeah, I thought I was going to do pixel art, but I'm like, you know what, I'll do pixel art when I actually have something to work with. That'd, that'd probably be a better idea for me, because, you know, even though I could just work on NPCs, I'd rather at least smash down the story to kind of just say, hey, this is why this guy exists, and this is why... I think this would be a good idea to actually incorporate in the game, because otherwise I'd be wasting my time adding characters for no good reason other than, hey, this cute little fox would be pretty nice to be in my dumb game. Like, I'd like to at least have more... I like to at least make sure that the stuff that I'm putting in my game will have a point eventually. And not just typical furry fair where, you know, you just put in your random OC and it'll be totally fine. Yeah, that's nice, but I am not doing a typical furry thing. I'm trying to at least pretend that this is a game that's not just, you know, it's not just a furry thing. It's, you know, other people can look at this the same way they could look at Crash Bandicoot or something, you know? Yeah, we just have these basic tail warriors, and that should be good. Should be good. These sketches are incredibly rough, I'll admit. You're now like pinnacle of making art. And I'm still never as I'd say happy about how I work with the tablet. Because there's so much things I'm like, ah, oh, I need to be perfect at this, but there's only so much you can really be perfect at. So that's kind of one of those things where Kinda of gotta pick and choose what you actually want to prioritize. Let's see, lighting. No, yeah, I'll just cover up her leg. shapes of the cast shadow. Uh, don't worry, Mom, you want to check your crock pot. Just freaking stop. I should at least get those arrows in there so people can just see, hey, this obeys light, right? I'm not a complete hack. I understand how light sources work. Uh, 
That should look good. Should look half decent. I made it look, at least made her look kind of decent here, probably. Actually, this looked fine. Probably just go in, clean up some stuff. Okay. So I have a rough system of how I'm doing. Okay, let me get in a rough thing of like a background gradient, and then that should be good. Probably shouldn't have made the arrows so dark, I'd say. Am I able to fiddle with this first arrow fox? Let's see if I can't brighten this a little. Yep, I can. Alright. That's gonna look good. That looks a little better. So now I'm just gonna add my signature to this bottom thing. And that'll kind of just be my rough concept art for the tail box. Just you so you're a little bit more free. Bump you up. And that should work. Or I could just flip you over. just flipped it over a bit. Under, what's it? Shift Alt T? Yes. Mesh transform, that's exactly what. 
butts you about. That's just enough. All right. Just save this and just export you as tail shield weapon. And that should be good. All right, I'm gonna stand up, look at my mom's crock pot, and then you know work on some uh, work on the actual commission stuff. Sorry for lying to everyone and saying that I was gonna work on pixel art, because yeah, I'm actually just gonna work on my commission now. Mm -hmm.